Let's Cook. I am Elizabeth Ingero, the producer of Let's Cook reality TV show. I will be taking you through the series so far. Let's move on to group two. We have Sharifa Naluoga. Sharifa Naluoga. Hakim Buanika. Hakim Buanika. And John Paul O'Mara. John Paul O'Mara. In group two, their omelette challenge was quite interesting. Hakim cut himself and as a result wasn't able to plate up nicely. This is what the judges said. Because it seems like uh, the trainers just boom yeah. hit the egg. Yeah. And 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 <laughs> Sharifa Naluoga decided to go for something quite different. She used shredded potato in her um, omelette dish, which she was complimented about, but she decided to use a particular spice. <laughs> I think Judge Robert there was lost for words and didn't want to offend, but those eyes tell it all. What is your opinion? Should omelette be watery or dry? Let's see what the judges thought of John Paul's omelette. Uh, it's a bit too uh, watery. Sort of an om omelette needs to be dry. Uh, but, but this one seems like it has sauce in it. It's like mulimo supu. One thing that stood out for me was the ethos that Hakim Buanika had on his healthy eating. He thought about the balances of protein and vegetables and the nutrients that you'd be getting in the food. And he reminded us the importance of antitoxins. But some of the judges got a little bit lost. I prefer to keep um, the antitoxins mm -hmm. not overcooked. Yeah, no, I, I, I get that and I appreciate that. What are antitoxins again? Because for me, I'm a bit uh, lost. <laughs> in, um, you didn't um, study when, biology. Whenever we eat, <laughs> yeah. we're taking toxins from carbon dioxide, from ammonia. So when you're having a healthy meal, it helps you to reduce the, the toxins in your body. <laughs> now to group two's main dish. Oh my, oh my. If only my eyes could taste. Sharifa's Mexican rice, oh, the look of it was just so delicious. Hakim's main dish looked equally as delicious. He had the Asian-inspired dish, chicken, carrots, and white rice. John Paul treated the judges to grilled chicken on a bed of vegetables and diet rice. How was the relationship between the different contestants? How is it going? It's okay. Okay, yeah, talk to me also, not on Sharifa. <laughs> Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, find out how I'm doing. I'm getting jealous in this hit of the There we go. So John Paul didn't want to be left out of the conversation in the kitchen. But once again, the judges had to make the decision. There was one person that seemed quite confident with his dish. Because the chicken tasted really good. I also loved it. Yes, Hakim, it's always good to love the taste of your own food. And yes, we had to lose one more person in the show from group two. And this time, it was? Um, however, on this occasion, the person who has not quite made it to the next round would be Sharifa. I look at setbacks as, as I've come to grow. I've looked, I look at setbacks as um, learning experiences. You, we move past the setback and you say, what did I learn from it? What can I do differently? That's how you should look at setbacks. As you say about setbacks, use it as an opportunity to grow. Stay tuned and spread the word. Let's Cook is on every Saturday and you can catch up on the Record TV Facebook page to watch episode one, two and three before the semi-finals this Saturday at 7 p.m. Catch Let's Cook on Saturday at 7 p.m. and the repeat at 12 p.m. on Sunday. Subscribe to a producer's life in Uganda.